So for people who haven't been paying attention, CRISPR is this amazing new technology that allows you to do genetic engineering with an ease in human and plant cells that was not possible. And I think this will be the first time that it's actually used in people. Yeah. This is unprecedented. Which is, you know, CAR T cell technology, and a lot of you know about that. But then the ability to edit cells to make them better than nature made them. Well, not male, not female. A Portland person's court order designating them as non-binary, neither female or male, raises a new issue for Oregon's Department of Motor Vehicles. A Multnomah County judge agrees and handed down a June 10th ruling that the sex of Jamie Shoup be changed from female to non-binary, neither male nor female. Sehr geehrter Herr Präsident, meine Damen und Herren, sehr geehrte Schwule, sehr geehrte Lesben, sehr geehrte Androgyne, sehr geehrte Bigender, Interstern weiblich und sehr geehrter Interstern männlich. Ach Gott, es stand ja eine Zwischenfrage. Ich bin ja noch nicht mit der Begrüßung fertig, Herr Präsident. Entschuldigung. Sehr geehrte, sehr geehrte Interstern Männer, sehr geehrte. Well, President Obama has designated Stonewall Inn in New York City a national monument. President Obama made the announcement in a video released by the White House. The richness and diversity and uniquely American spirit that has always defined us. That we are stronger together. That out of many, we are one. But let's get one thing clear. And this is what disgusts me the most about this tragedy. The maniac who did this was somehow conditioned to believe that LGBTQ people deserve to be massacred and that they are less than in this society. And he wasn't just hearing these messages from a faraway terrorist organization. He was hearing it from politicians and from radical anti-LGBTQ -LGBT extremists right here in our own country. Every time we see legislation that puts a target on the back of LGBT people, every time we hear a preacher that spews hate from the pulpit. And just a week and a half now since Orlando, there was a headline today, a gunman walking into a movie theater in Germany. Several cities and towns erupted in chaos on Sunday. Caught on camera, an Air Force veteran thrown out of a retirement ceremony because his tribute to the flag mentioned the word God. It's known as the Stars and Stripes. A union consists of white stars and a blue field, the followers of a new constellation. Each star represents one individual state, and together they stand united. Well, Oscar Rodriguez is a decorated 33-year Air Force veteran and a retiree now, and uh, he has a history of giving very stirring and moving flag folding speeches at military events and civic events throughout the community. One of the individuals that uh, came up to me and shook my hands, he was going to retire. He says, Son Rodriguez, I've, I've heard that speech on CDs. I, I heard it in person a long time ago. It would just be wonderful if you could do that for, for my family. And, and I looked at him and I said, absolutely. As a private citizen and an Air Force veteran, Oscar has the right under the First Amendment to engage in speech, including religious speech. To have my fellow family throw me out of the ceremony because of the mention of God is beyond me. When Master Sergeant Roberson's commanding officer found out that Oscar was going to be performing this flag folding speech that was going to mention the word God, 
He took steps to have Oscar banned from the ceremony, and when he found out that he didn't have the legal authority to ban Oscar, a private citizen, from this ceremony, he then had members of his command in uniform show up to remove Oscar. I stood up, went to my position, faced the audience, and this individual comes up to me, and he says, you're not gonna do this, are you? I'm thinking, so what is he talking about, that I'm really gonna do what? Mention God? Yeah, I'm really gonna do that. As soon as I hear my cue, I start with my speech. And they grab me, and they pull me, they assault me, as the flag is open, because I dare to mention God. The tragic irony here is that flag-folding speech talks about the fact that the United States flag stands for freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of conscience. And it was those very words that resulted in Oscar being assaulted and forcibly dragged away by men wearing the uniform of the United States Air Force, men who are sworn to protect people like Oscar and their right to engage in that very speech. It is this one nation under God that we call with honor the United States of America. God bless our flag. God bless our troops. God bless America. So when we look around the world today, in 2016, the capital markets are changing shape as we watch. And the chief economist of the Bank of England suggests banning cash. I'm not making any of this up. And the People Bank, People's Bank of China announces it will set up its own virtual currency that will commence in a, a few years. What exactly is happening in this world of virtual finance? I think our industry is going to be transformed substantially and quite fundamentally. Uh, it might not even be a decade, it might be just five years. And that transformation is being driven by some very profound changes uh, in technology. Uh, in today's day and age, what I know about you is truly mind-boggling. I, mean, I know who you are, where you live, all that stuff, but I know when you're in your room, I know when you turn on your television, I know which program you're watching, I know where you went to eat yesterday, I know where you're going to eat today. I know before you do which restaurant you're likely to go to in the next week. It's, uh, now when you mirror that with deep learning, machine learning and artificial intelligence, uh, that becomes uh, even more powerful. Successfully trialled, now police want to use these portable fingerprint scanners on anyone they believe could help them in an investigation. I don't think that they should be allowed to just go ask random people. Yeah, it's a bit of a violation of privacy. I'd feel greatly offended. That's criminal. Scan anyone they want, actually. The scanners are linked to the National Fingerprint ID system and a police officer can access a criminal record within a minute of a suspect touching the keypad. Well, the FBI maintains a face recognition database of over 411 million photos from sources including driver's licenses, passports and visa applications. A new Government Accountability Office, or GAO, report says the majority of those faces are people who have never committed a crime. Well, there's no escaping Facebook, right? We got it right here. Uh, use it to stay connected with your inner circle, or you tell the world about everything you're up to. But it's not just your friends keeping track. News 10 ABC's Trishna Begum shows us how you can keep Facebook and other companies from following your every move. Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? In your own home. Pretty much everything that I've ever done is on here. Kate Calabrese is looking at a snapshot of herself just not in picture form. She uses Facebook everywhere for everything. And like a kid in a candy store, Facebook hoards all those bits and pieces, providing a treasure trove of information about you to other companies. 
It's very creepy. Every time Kate signs onto another website through Facebook, she's letting another site track her. But all these things become valuable to people who want to sell you stuff. And I've actually have bought things from seeing an ad before because I'm like, it's so perfect. But those apps she downloads? Who knows what these websites could be doing with your information? Maybe more than just a game. Pretty much everything that I've ever done is on here. Remember that unique snapshot? We showed Kate what Facebook was keeping track of. Oh, wow. Even the small details about her life, she had forgotten. Cheerleading, I used to cheer in high school. It was all listed under her ad preferences, a list curated based on Kate's every click. But also to be thrown into the mix, biometric Simone. We're going to have iris scanning. And by the way, we're not even sure exactly with our own appliances, our phones and our devices that we use, how much of that telemetry or that biometrics is also involved. What we're seeing here and I want everybody to understand this, is that you are seeing a vacuum cleaner, a, a, a sucking up of every bit of data there is about you. Good evening, welcome to the ITV News in London. Tonight's main stories. Flash flooding brings early morning chaos to the capital, but warnings this evening that there is more rain. It's been quite a summer for flooding already, but London hadn't seen anything like the deluge of last night. Thousands of homes woke up to flooded ground floors. Those who ventured to work faced severe delays. Some polling stations open for voting in the EU referendum had to close and relocate. The violent thunderstorms last night following a month's rainfall in just a few hours. Lightning struck London last night. Along with thunder so fierce, it set off car alarms. Torrential rain fell across the entire region. It caused widespread flooding in London and the southeast of England. Um, let's have a look now at a shot of lightning. Uh, this strike, uh, hopefully, if it hasn't blown up, worst. <laughs> it's worth waiting for. Here we go. This is in uh, London, this is over London. Um, the fire brigade were called more than 300 times in just 90 minutes. The stunning results sending shockwaves around the world right now. Overnight, Britain voting to leave the European Union and then UK Prime Minister David Cameron surprising everyone suddenly stepping down. Global markets across the world have been in a free fall.